I'm Jeff Baumgartner with Light Reading Cable. I'm here with Viva Rusagi with ITAS. Now, the Comcast Reference Development Kit, or the RDK, has been in the news you know, since maybe January at CES, but now we're starting to see a lot more companies announce uh, that they're licensing it, including your company. So, uh, kind of summarize what the RDK is and why it's important. Okay. The RDK is a full-featured package uh, of embedded software components for the next generation media gateways and uh, peripheral devices. And it's also based on industry standards and open platforms like Linux, HTML5, Qt, and also incorporates proprietary platforms like Microsoft, Silver uh, Lite, as well as uh, the Adobe Flash. And it's very important because many of the MSOs or several MSOs are starting to show interest in the RDK. Okay. And it brings the promise of an open and open source, like, uh, like an open source community driven, proven and a high performance platform that the consumers can use for a very rich multi-screen TV uh, home entertainment uh, platform. Okay, and, and we've seen a couple chip providers you know, Entropic, uh, Broadcom license it, but you know, ITAS doesn't make chips. So, how do you intend to use the the RDK? So we we are planning to work with the MSOs, with the SOC or the chipset vendors, with the okay. OEMs, in the traditional sense of providing, optimizing, enhancing the software for the MSOs, for example, and also with the SOC and the OEM vendors to provide software uh, development, integration, and testing services across the industry. Okay. Now, is True Two Way somehow hooked into the RDK as well? Because there's a lot of other stuff that was that you mentioned, but not True Two Way. Well, True Two Way is incorporated into okay. the RDK. The RDK platform itself has the True Two Way or the OCAP RI. It also has a True Two Way proxy, so okay. it does get incorporated into the RDK. Okay. Now, speaking, of, um, just a quick question about True Two Way. In the past, when we first started to talk about OCAP and True Two Way, the role was really associated with being helping enable a retail market. Right, right. And that didn't really happen. So, but yet a lot of cable operators have deployed True Two Way. So what do you see is you know, True Two Way's role now for cable? So we still see that True Two Way will continue to get deployed. In mm -hmm. fact, like I mentioned, you know, the RDK is a pre-integrated bundle of um, True Two Way powered set-top boxes as well as IP-based and hybrid set-top boxes. So we, de we do see True Two Way and the RDK coexisting in an environment. In fact, they could be tied with IP-based technologies with devices running across both RDK and True Two Way set-top boxes with the DLNA-powered uh, technology. Okay, and you said some other cable operators are interested in the RDK. Mm -hmm. So could this, in a sense, become, you know, depending on what kind of adoption we have, um, some sort of, you know, uh, Quasi-cable standard or something for, for um, you know, set-tops and gateways and so forth. That is the intent, but it's okay. also very open, and the intent is to have all the providers that are licensees of the RDK to go back into a central repository okay. and put in back their code or their enhancements that they have. And that then gives the, that, that then of course expedites, you know, makes it at a faster pace, availability of the RDK, and also puts in features back into more of a community-driven platform. Okay. Well, great. Well, thanks for walking us through all that. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Thanks.